let's talk about creating a sales page for your ebook. Hi there, my name is Anna and I'm a blogging coach and strategist helping bloggers and content creators start and grow profitable online businesses. One of the methods of monetizing a blog that I've been teaching to my students is the creation of digital products, especially ebooks. I love ebooks because they're a great first digital product to start off with. They're easy and pretty cheap to put together and deliver. And most of all, it just carries through that expertise that you have on your blog that people already love you for. So if you're a blogger, it's a little harder to transition into something like creating videos uh, and I know that from experience or kind of creating an online course which can be much more expensive to put together much more time-consuming and it's even more expensive on a day-to-day -day hosting basis but ebooks are so easy and simple to create I actually have a detailed guide on how to write your first ebook in under 30 days and what software to use to publish it and so on but one of the things that I often get asked about when it comes to selling ebooks is how do you create a sales page for it? Every single product out there, whether it's a digital product or a physical product, has a landing page that's a sales page when you look to buy it online. And for ebooks is no different. I've seen so many bloggers skip that stage and send their audience straight through the checkout process. In other words, instead of giving their audience information about the ebook, the content in there, why they should buy it, and creating that dedicated sales page, they they send people to a page that has the price of the ebook, maybe a photo and a paragraph. And they wonder why that isn't converting. And that's because that page doesn't answer all the questions that somebody has about the product, about the ebook. Is that a motivator for them to check out? If you go to Amazon, for example, and you specifically look up a product and you want to buy it, but the sales page doesn't answer a question like, is this product viable for the, the purpose intended? Does it have this specific feature? Will it include this or that? If that sales page doesn't already answer that question, then you're probably not going to buy it, are you? So why would it be different for a digital product where you actually need a little bit more information to be able to buy it because it's not a tangible product, right? But if you've never built a sales page before and you're like, how do I even get started? This video is for you. So let's get into it. First of all, I've already explained what the sales page is. It's a dedicated landing page, meaning the only action that somebody can take on that page is to purchase the ebook. That's very important to know because you don't want to build a page that has a bunch of other distractions, that has a sidebar with other links, that has a menu where they can go to 10 million other places on your blog. You want the sole action that they take once they land on that page, hence landing page, to be buying that ebook or checking out, right? And then of course you want to serve the purpose of of delivering information about a product that takes a visitor and turns them into a buyer. When it comes to the technical aspect of building a landing page, you can do that via different means. When I first got started with my ebook, I didn't have a software for this and I didn't know how to create sales pages on my actual blog. So I actually used the mail or light landing pages instead. And I'm pretty sure I still have one of those sales pages up, although I no longer send traffic to it. And that is a great way to cut expenses down. If you have a software that already already enables you cr the creation of such pages, use that is the simplest way to get started. For example, if you run your email list through MailerLite, they do have that ability to build landing pages that you can use and kind of even set up a custom domain, which is helpful, but obviously you're limited in what they can do. ConvertKit is another email provider that does allow that option and they actually even take care of the checkout process. So they will take the payment as well. That's another important factor to consider is the actual checkout software that you're using. I started selling my ebooks using SendOwl, which I absolutely love and recommend. It's super affordable and they allow you to kind of upload your PDF in there and then send it automatically to buyers. And they handle the process and the checkout side of things. So they integrate with PayPal and with Stripe to get people's uh, card information. But the one thing that they don't do, however, is that they don't have the feature to build sales pages. They have very minimal checkout pages that you can use Use, but like I said, it's not a dedicated sales pages. So what I've done instead is I've built my sales pages using Elementor. Elementor is a free WordPress page builder that is all drag and drop. You don't need to know how to code. You just can watch a couple of tutorials to learn how Elementor works, which is what I did and was super helpful. And then you can start creating pages in Elementor that suit your needs. I've been using Elementor for years and I've built everything from like various sales pages for courses, eBooks, even for my Amazon planner. And I even built my homepage with it. So they have loads of functionality. You can use them to build whatever you like. And this is what I recommend in general for building sales pages on your website. The benefits of that is of course it's on your website 
you can track the traffic better, which is better for retargeting ads or any other kind of follow up funnels that you want to create. And you have full control over the sales process, the payment, everything else. What I do is I integrate Elementor with Thrivecart, which is what I use to sell my ebooks and courses. And uh, Thrivecart also is where I host my actual ebooks, documents, and my courses and my student platforms, right? But when it comes to actually building the sales page, I build that in Elementor. You don't have to be a tech guru to be able to do that. So download Elementor onto your website and start checking it out and using it. Keep in mind that you need a couple of key sections in a sales page in terms of promoting the ebook and making sure that it converts and not just buy buttons or add to cart buttons, but actual sections that tell people about your ebook. What are the chapters included? Who is it for? Who is it not for? What's the price? What are the bonuses? How do they download the ebook? What's your refund policy? And so on. You really need to walk people through their customer journey and make it really obvious what your ebook can do for them in a realistic way. So don't over promise, but instead tell people on your sales page and make sure the messaging is clear in terms of where they are now and where they're going to be by the end of reading your ebook and ideally implementing the tips that you have in there. And if you want to save some time and headache and designing pages is just not your forte, then I've actually designed an Elementor ebook sales page template that you can download, import into your Elementor and just switch the messaging and the text around. I've even included free Canva mockups for all the graphics that I've created. And this template is literally a copycat of my Pinterest ebook sales page that is one of my highest converting sales pages for my ebooks. It also has a couple of important pointers of where to add those kind of sections that we talked about. And you can, of course, duplicate it, add your own, personalize it, add your own custom branding. So it will look nothing like the template by the end of this. And to prove it, I've basically taken the sales page of my Pinterest ebook and I've made it into a mock-up for an ebook in the coffee niche. So you can check out the template in the demo below. But this is one of the things that I've actually done when I started with Elementor because I was like, I love it. I love the functions but I don't know how to create this. <laughs> so I bought a couple of Elementor uh, sales pages that were meant for business owners and I've basically converted them to be able to use them for ebook sales pages. But I wish somebody was offering what I'm offering now in terms of an actual full bulletproof page specifically for creating an ebook sales page. So if that's you, be sure to check it out. It's super easy to import templates into your Elementor dashboard as well. So if you have a free or a pro Elementor account doesn't really matter you can use it on both you can go to your templates import the template as a file and then import it into whatever page that you're wanting to use and then making these changes in a couple of minutes instead of taking hours and hours trying to build it from scratch and then of course the good part of it is that you can replicate this page and use this template for any other sales page or landing page that you create simply customize it to your needs it fully integrates with sendowl paypal links thrive card and so on so you can add those checkout links to the buttons already included in the page, making the transaction process seamless for your audience as well. But this is one of the steps that you don't want to miss. If you're serious about making money blogging with digital products and selling your own products and services. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have already built a sales page for your ebook and you want to know on how to improve it, leave a comment below with the link and I'll provide a free audit and opinion on your sales page to as many people as I can get to. Happy blogging and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you learned something new. See you around.